Look how fucking gorgeous this area is. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. Hey guys, going on? My name is Dio. Welcome back to a brand new video. So I really have to get on with this Elden Ring stuff. I'm not gonna lie. It might be, I might be finishing Elden Ring this week. I've left Elden Ring a super long time because I really haven't been wanting to finish it. Not because it's a bad game, but solely because I literally don't want the game to end. I have so much fun playing this and I could go back and do other playthroughs. And granted, I should do that. I should have finished this game ages ago and tried other types of builds with this game. And it would have been much better experience, probably way better. Probably even could have tried uh, a level one run, but... I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see down the line. Anyways, we're back here with some Elden Ring. And you're probably looking at my weapon going, yeah, it's something brand new. I have the Dragon Hunter's Great Katana at plus 10. I didn't want to use a bleed weapon. I wanted to really stick with the Destined Death weapon we have, um, Malekith's Black Blade. However, I mean, if you guys know me, I fucking am addicted to dragons. I gotta use this fucking thing. And I mean, if I use the fucking skill, I mean, it sticks you in the air like a goddamn anime. Like, look at this shit! Now, granted, there's barely any range on it, but I'm not looking to use range. I'm using it to do extra damage. And I was looking in the wiki, and it says something along the lines of deals increased damage to dragons. So when I eventually go to fight Bale, that should make the experience a little easier. Also, I did take some time off camera to finally go and unlock got the Petrescent Knight uh, video well, I'm gonna call them video ready meaning I'm ready to start recording these guys for you and go through the dungeons or whatever it is and I'm ready to go so I have the Petrescent Knight right here in the stone coffin fissure I'm gonna go journey into there I then have to go up the coast and go through the dragon the dragon and I've got to talk to the dragon priestess in here and I've got to do that 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 plus pretty much the entirety of the jagged peak is gonna be for Bale and then we have Matir mother of fingers I have to do Count Ymir's quest and I want to get footage of all that, so Count Ymir is ready. And then last but not least, we have Big Bad Radon. So I figured since I have all of the bosses ready, and if I'm going in the order of, I think, the most difficult, or least difficult to most difficult, at least that's the idea I have in my head, considering I know nothing of what Matir is or what her moveset is, and I know like one or two moves of the Putrescent Knight, I'm going to fight the Putrescent Knight. We're going to journey over to the journey over to the Stone Coffin Fisher, and we'll have a look. All I know is at the end of this dungeon, I have to drop into a giant fucking hole and fight him. So here we fucking are. Let's get going. And this is going to be the weapon I use for the rest of the for the rest of my time on the DLC. I don't want to change my weapon. I don't want to do anything else. Hell, I barely wanted to get any buffs. Congealed Putrescence. Yep, I'm definitely in the right place. I'm going to assume this is a pretty hard dungeon, considering there's a Remembrance boss at the bottom of it. Oh, holy shit, that did a lot of damage. Okay. Tranquility ahead. First off, crossable spot. Therefore, detour ahead. Oh! What? Oh, actually made me jump. Hey, look, another one of Mikola's crosses. The fact they're all the way over here is kind of nuts. I really need to get up to date on my Elden Ring lore. Oh, wait, what was this? Carved words coalesce. I abandon here my love. Mikola abandons her love in here? Is the Petrescent Knight like her his love or something? I mean, also, holy shit, this place is insane. No way he hit me. Oh, I do decent damage. I thought I did way less damage to these guys. Ow. He was a bit tricky. Okay, so now there's ones that... I guess it's the ones standing up that shoot lasers. Oh! I couldn't see... Well, I better not fucking die going back over there. Oh my god, this place is actually- okay. This place- I definitely can see, like, the struggle of this area. These fucking lasers are very fucking annoying. Um... Fuck you. If only I had fingers, then I seek hole. I just fell in the little crack, which- oh my god. Oh my god, I was right next to a Grace, too. Fuck. Well, I'm farther down still. 462k. I wonder if I can get the last, like, however many I need. Yeah, if I'm using this weapon now, I need some. I need to soft cap my dexterity. I was going for the soft cap on Faith for the buffs and for the weapon. But if I'm going to use this katana, which I really want to do, I need to soft cap dex. So I need to... Who the hell is this guy? Is this a Leonine Misbegotten? Bitch. Oh. Yeah, like that's fun. What the fuck? Multi-layered ring of light. Holy sh- okay. Yeah, that guy almost 
fucking two shot me, so that's nice. Oh, please grant me the courage to fly to your feet, my dearest. Saint Trina. Saint Trina? Okay, I, I vaguely know that character, but still. Oh, I wish I could, uh, wish I actually knew more. It says, seek down, no death ahead. This must be where the Putress, I have to jump in for the night. So let's go ahead and do our buffs real quick. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Why is it so hot? I'm literally gonna have to Google why is it so hot in my fucking house because I know the filters are good. Like I've tried everything. It's gotta be because the windows are open during the day. That literally has to be it that the heat's getting in. It has it has to be it. That has to be. Am I not two-handing my sword? I am, okay. Alright, Rose. Yes! Woo! I take that shit! Remembrance of Putrescent. 484,000 runes. Nice! I was super fucking locked in for that last one. That, that timber there. I would argue I wasn't as locked in for that one as I was the others, but I definitely felt like I had his openings and his move set down. Very fucking nice. And under 10 tries. I believe that was under 10 tries, and the recording is done basically in under an hour. I have literally just enough for a level, and I, I gotta go straight back into decks. I mean, I, I got a soft cap dexterity here. Remembrance of the putrescent night hewn into the shatter tree. Tainted flesh eventually becomes putrescent, and this clump of it imbibed St. Trina's nectar, which granted it eternal rest. And so it was that putrescent became her night. Interesting. St. Trina's Disciple Cookbook number three. Im imbibe nectar. What happens if I do this? Fuck it. Oh, your character naturally walks behind? Ooh. 
Oh. Oh! She just killed me, what the fuck? Is that Saint Trina? That's Saint- Yeah, that's Saint Trina. The Garden of Deep Purple, Saint Trina. That is Saint Trina. Let's do some research on who the hell she is and whatever the fuck is- is going on because what the fuck i drank the succulent nectar and i fucking died so we have two options here we have the putrescent cleaver which is his weapon or the vortex of putrescent intellect and fate launches a world of putrescent jets or the putrescent cleaver is a great axe it causes frost so you need arcane you need, so it's similar to the dark the uh dark moon greatsword what is this sorcery used by the putrescent knight launches a world of putrescent jets that bathe the surroundings of all they touch in ghost flame in an age-long past death was burned by ghost flame even the remains of tainted flesh were given equal treatment in death okay so it sounds like the 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 putrescent area or the people of that area or the creatures or whatever have something to do with death itself, Malik, maybe Malakath or something. And then the putrescent cleaver wielded by the putrescent knight, a great cleaver of hardened putrescent putrescence, affixed to an arc fashioned from human bones, gains power from the wielder's arcane attribute. So the stronger our arcane, the better the weapon, and uh... Yeah. Unique skill is spilling, spitting guillotine. Hold the putrid blade at both ends and arc body backwards to deliver a powerful overhead chomp. Repeated inputs deliver follow-up attacks for as long as stamina allows. Strong attack performs a leap followed by a spinning attack. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cleaver considering this character has nothing to do with arcane. So this is what it looks like. Holy shit, this thing is huge. So... Oh my god. So it's like... It says for as long as stamina will allow. That is, uh, I guess because I'm not in combat, I can just keep using it. And then... Your character bends over backwards for that shit. Honestly, it just, yeah, it just looks, I want to say it looks like a much more, uh, different version of the putrescent, or not the putrescent, the Dark Moon Greatsword. Which on this character, I have at plus 10. So it's all good. Oh, it was fun. I really enjoyed that. I liked that fight. Was struggling to get down some of the timings. I never could get a handle of when the fire was coming from behind. I was watching it close in to get a kind of a gauge on when that would happen. When in reality, I probably should have just unlocked the camera, turned around, and jumped. Probably what I should have done, but I tried to do it where I stayed locked on. So never got the handle of that. But either way, I almost got through that entire fight without him. Like he didn't get into that fire phase until like two thirds into the fight on my winning try. So I get, I definitely think he's a good boss. I wish he had a little more to, it doesn't, it seems like game wise, they're being very shallow on the lore. So I wish they offered us more. But other than that, I really like the fight. Thank you guys for hanging out. I really did appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a thumbs up in the video. It really helps the channel grow. We'll also make sure you enjoy the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Hit the bell, bell notifications every so you get notified whenever i upload a video until next time this is dia signing off a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video peace guys